Our next speaker is an entrepreneur, a rock climber, and a programmer. Please welcome Jack Dean. I graduated business school here a semester early so I could go on a rock climbing trip with a friend. And the night before climbing this 700-foot peak you see on the right, we got into a long discussion about environmental toxicology, which he's now getting a PhD in. But I think that kind of shows why I'm interested in a lot of different things. I like to do a wide variety of things. And I think that it's more than just taking new challenges or coming up with hobbies. It's keeping my mind active. And I really do enjoy it. I'm going to talk a little bit about why you should maybe try some new things as well. And like I said, it's more than just hobbies. I feel like it gives a good wide breadth to look at your passion. So if you put your passion in the center, it can really give you some good uh, perspectives to look at what you're interested in. And my passion really is in sustainability. Uh, sustainability for me is a lot of different things, and particularly three different pillars. There's the environmental, the social, and the financial portions of those. And so I'm going to talk about that. And these are really the things that, uh, th that my other things are focused around is sustainability. The first portion is the environmental. It seems kind of obvious. Uh, we should keep that. Um, <laughs> it's a pretty great scene, some of the places in the country. This is in Bishop, California. And we should better the way that we interact with our environment and make sure that people after us can, can experience it. The social aspect means improving the environment, but also improving the way people's lives are in that world. So um, whether that's bringing up the base of the pyramid and, and making them have better lives, or reducing energy consumption without reducing the way of life of somebody. The final one's financial. And for me, I'm really interested in how business, for-profit businesses can solve these. So I think with the right leadership, with the right goals, for-profit businesses can actually solve these problems, even though the past is maybe dictated otherwise. Uh, if sustainability is the why, for me, rock climbing is the where, not just where I would rather be most of the time, but also where I draw a lot of inspiration. And so to me, there's a lot of interesting points in rock climbing that fall into the other activities that I do. Um, but rock climbing is, in part, very solo. You're sort of alone doing this, this activity, experiencing the environment or the place that you're in. Uh, and it's really sort of a, a solo or individual task at that point. But there's also aspects of it that are very social. So there's the parts where you collaborate with your friends or strangers that you meet. and uh, you really build off each other's energy to solve the problem or climb the route, whatever the case may be. And that's just another uh, great piece of climbing that I really like. And so how does that relate? So as mentioned, uh, I maybe call myself an entrepreneur, but I really thrive and enjoy the risk. And so that's very similar to climbing, obviously. Um, but I think you get to control the risk and the consequences. And then, of course, you fail quite a few times before you get any reward. And for un my entrepreneurship, uh, activities, I've been focusing a lot on sustainability. So I've done things in energy efficiency, LED financing, things like that. I even built a training tool for climbers, which is a lot of fun. And the part I love is that I get to learn every day. And so part of that for me has been to learn to code over the last year or so. Um, about a year ago, I pretty much knew nothing about how to code. And I just, in the last month or so, kind of finished my first web app uh, from scratch, which has been really fun. And that enables me to then rapidly prototype the ideas that I come up with um, for new business ideas, new projects, or uh, new climbing tools. Uh, and that reduces my reliance on human capital and financial capital. I don't have to wait for a coder or get money to pay them. As a good complement to coding, I've been working as a growth hacker for the last eight or nine months or so. Growth hacking is sort of a combination of sales, marketing, sort of like marketing, but for startups, uh, where it's not just how can we spend $10 million and get more customers. Um, but it's been a lot of fun. I've learned a lot, and I can really relate a lot of those uh, things that I've learned in growth hacking, in coding, in entrepreneurship, in climbing, all back to the sustainability. So I can use growth hacking and coding to you know, achieve the, the goals that I want to otherwise. Uh, final one, beer brewing, besides the obvious benefits. Um, <laughs> Uh, I have this kind of long-term idea for a sustainable brewery that would brew beer and then use the spent grain to make food so that you could have a pizza made with the same ingredients that your beer is made of. So why does this matter to you at all, I guess you're probably wondering. Uh, I think you should put w your why in the center. For me, that's sustainability. And surround that with actions that can complement off each other. Um, not anything, not any individual task I do in any of my actions is uh, related, but um, together they kind of all help out. And I think it's more than just being well-rounded. 
rounded, it kind of gives you a lot of new things that you can uh, can attack that what you're seeing as important, uh, seeing as important with. And so what do I think you should do next? Well, I think you should try freelancing. Uh, that's a pretty cool way. You can pretty much go online and freelance to do just about anything. Learn to build a website because if you can build a website, you can do a ton of stuff in this world. And go rock climbing because it's really fun. So <laughs> thanks. Thank you, Jack.